Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Safe House Diaries. My name is Weasel and uh, since you guys have been enjoying 60 seconds so much, I thought I might give this one a spin and we're gonna start a new game uh, in this game. Uh, we're gonna start in a normal mode, road kill mode. Uh, we have to repair a damaged vehicle and drive it to safety, scavenge part by any means. Um, so the game is about surviving with a group of survivors that, well, you can determine in the beginning or will be randomized. But uh, I made a little party and you're gonna see who's that go uh, who that is gonna be. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start. And I will explain the game as best as I can as we go along. We made it. Among our fragile group, we have a mechanic, a bartender, a musician, a chef, and a surgeon. That's an interesting group. We arrive with few weapons, some tools, some food, and no medical supplies. The five of us are very, very off each other. Dragast isn't adjusting well to the group, but Matt Shea might be able to hold everyone together. We met someone at the outskirts of town. He said he was part of a scavenger group looking for some spare parts, but they were attacked and he was the only one who survived. He said there might be a vehicle in that town that we could probably patch up if we had the right parts. But there's a catch. The outskirts are infested and getting more dangerous by the day. We'll need to find a map before we even think about leaving. Before leaving, the scavenger said we might want to check out 18 Rio Lane. Or Rio Lane. Anyway, this is our party, our group, consisting of C Top, Dragast, me, IGP, the indie game promoter, and Matt Che. And yeah, <clears throat> this game is pretty much a uh, kind of choose your own adventure management survival game. Uh, we're mostly going to play this in these two views, that is the map view and the, well, diary view <clears throat> that will tell us what is going on, what is going to happen. Uh, let me quickly explain the screen to you. So first of all, we've got our survivors, these five survivors. They are, they have relationships between each other, meaning uh, the green line symbolizes that they are somewhat like, friendly to each other. Red means they're somewhat, you know, uh, angry or don't trust each other. Orange is pretty neutral. Uh, we're gonna see about that in the, the future. Uh, we got some biographies to everyone. For example, Weasel Mosey Musician. He's 29 straight, has a high school education, comes from middle class background. All these things you can set up um, in the custom content manager. You can make your own survivors and I just figured I'm just gonna go with the YouTube posse here. Um, all of these. With the jobs, I just picked jobs that seemed interesting, like IGP is a chef, C-Top is a mechanic. I don't know what C-Top is doing. I think he's studying. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're doing. Matt, Matt is a surgeon, definitely. Or surgeon simulator. Um, and yeah, we're currently in this house, all five of us. This is where we're holding out. This is going to tell us how much we searched of the house, how many zombies are inside, how many corpses are currently in there, and what we're doing. C-Top, Dragas, Weasel, IGP, and Meche are idle. And now we can select some orders. For example, we could, you know, search a location for anything useful. And we get to select which survivor we're going to pick. For example, I'm going to let Dre search through the house. And while we do that, um, actually, uh, let's let Meche search through the house. Um, you get an information about um, the relationship. If you look at these, the pretty much tells you in what relationship that they are. Here's pretty neutral. So Matt and Dre, the Canadians, they're both going to look for the house while uh, C-Top watches out for zombies. And IGP's going to patrol outside. What am I going to do? Good question. Uh, I will... Well, I will, I will help to search. Just so it's faster. We're going to not stay here. I think we're going to move. Uh, if you click around the map, you get some idea what's going on in the town. Um, what we have. Like, we have a warehouse close by. Uh, another one. A store. Oh, that's interesting. Many stores, actually. We're in, like, some business district. And we kind of want to head here. Apparently, there's something important. Um, a vehicle or a part. And I haven't been playing for too much, like, maybe half an hour or so, just to get the hang of it. So if I make some weird mistakes, please bear with me. Uh, dying is very likely. This is a surprisingly hard game. But, yeah, now that we set up what each one is going to do, we're going to click the watch. Uh, which opens up the diary screen. We click it, and we're going to skip an hour ahead, and now the diary is telling us what happened. We found two snacks and a sponge in the kitchen. We found three snacks in the kitchen and a chest set and two snacks in the living room. Dre notes that there's only one shower in the house, and half the rooms have been searched. Okay, so we're going to keep... Ooh, ow, what happened? What just happened? We found a can of gasoline in the living room. IGP was attacked by a zombie while on patrol. He took care of them. He struck a zombie in its torso with a cricket bed, killing it instantly. 
Wonderful. That's what I like to hear. He stopped his patrol because of the attack. Okay, so we can reassign him now. <clears throat> He's idling. Uh, we will let him patrol just to make sure no zombie comes inside. We're still going to look and see Top keeps watching. You know what? I'm going to take him on patrol too. They two can go patrol together, uh, increasing their odds. I'm going to go back and... <laughs> Probably found another one. Found some snacks in the living room and the crowbar and the guitar. We found a motorcycle helmet in the basement. C-Top and IGP were attacked by a zombie. Uh, oh, yeah, with a sledgehammer. Ooh, IGP. Uh, his trade, I think, is he's strong. C-Top and IGP stopped their patrol because of the attack. Almost all rooms in the house have been searched now. Okay, good. Yeah, we're nearly through 86%. I think I'm going to do one more... One more search just to go for everything, and then we're going to move on to the next house. Dre found a bar of soap in the bathroom. All rooms have been searched. Matt is feeling slightly fit after doing some exercise. Good for you, Matt. Good for you. Okay, so it's 10 a.m. Uh, we searched pretty much for the whole house. Now, these symbols up here, these tokens, represent each survivor. So, uh, this red token, the C-top, this, whatever this is, I, I can identify it. It's like, a, is it candy? No, it's a bottle cap. That's Dre. I'm a coin. IGP's, I uh, think, a piece of glass, and Matt is a pick, a guitar pick. Uh, I think we're just gonna head out uh, towards um, the store, just slowly. We're, we're not in a rush, uh, and we're gonna uh, check out the warehouse, I think. Uh, ideally, you know what? Actually, we're gonna send out each one individually. Uh, now we get all of these uh, possible things to do, like investigate the store, investigate the warehouse. Which is all we're gonna do. We're not gonna try to break into that. We could select between um, breaching it, uh, assaulting it, or investigating. Investigating means just you're gonna approach it carefully and report back. And we're gonna see where we have the least resistance. The sound is super off sometimes. I don't know why it is so loud sometimes. It's just... You cannot set the volume. <laughs> This is this always scares me. It's just a guitar weasel. All right, so the stored warbler court is a tiny building with five rooms, two doors, five windows leading from the outside. Contains should contain a cache of medical supplies and weapons. That's good. Scouted the perimeter. He counted zero zombies and two zombies inside. We can deal with that. These ones, small building, seven rooms. Um, cache of tools. Three zombies inside. No one outside. No one outside here as well. Um, Four zombies inside. What do we have in real lane? A cache of weapons. Hmm. Okay. Looks good. And this also not too much. Six zombies inside. Three zombies inside. I think we're going to go with the first one or the second one. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the first one. Warbler Court. Everyone reported back. And now we... Oh, and we're actually idling because we had the rest of the time free. Um... So, IGP returned. Matt, Dre, IGP, and C-Top were motivated by Weasel's tune. Oh, I played guitar! Right, I'm a musician and we found a guitar. Then this happens. IGP finished playing a game of solitaire. He says he feels mentally refreshed. Wonderful! It's important to keep the uh, relationship in mind because they might start fighting. Um, you don't have... You can't affect what their relationship is to each other, so... Uh, it looks good so far, though. Everyone... Kind of seems to work together right now. So, uh, which one was it? Zombies inside to Warbler Court. Yeah, this is where we're gonna go. We're all together gonna breach this. Uh, moving in a group. Maybe after that we could go to this warehouse once we have a few more stuff, a few more things. All right, we're gonna go with Breach. Breach is pretty much we're gonna occupy the store, kill any zombies that get in the way, and then we're gonna be in there. So now we have the inventory, which we also, I think, can open up here. Supplies. We see what we have in the house. We're gonna take some things with us, obviously. Now that we scavenged and found some things. Uh, what's that gonna be? Let's see. Oh, right, we click Breach, and we're going to take the... Br oh, yeah, we're gonna take the Cricket Bat. A handgun, the rounds. You also have only a limited amount of weight you can carry. Uh, a motorcycle helmet sounds good. That might be helpful. A uh, can of gasoline. Mm, start a bonfire to attract zombies. Nah, don't really care too much for that. Chest set crowbar. We can fight with that. A flashlight for looking. Frying pan probably to cook. Yeah, cooking. Let's just take it with us. It's fine if we just leave it there. Hacksaw, sledgehammer. 
and a wooden spoon. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care for that. And some snacks. Always good to have food with you. All right. Now that we set this, we are going to move to the next house. We're going to have to clean out the zombies. Let's hope this everything goes according to plan. We approached the store with the intention of breaking in. They had to spend some time trying to find a way in, increasing the risk of a confrontation. They had to do a small second story window leading to the aisles. When it came to getting inside, the sledgehammer proved very useful. We cleared the room, taking down two zombies. Sounds like there are only a handful of zombies wandering around in here. It doesn't look like there are any zombies outside the store. IGP ate a snack. What a badass. Alright, so uh, we're still breaching, so I'm gonna progress a little bit longer. Ugh. Much smash. Very comforting. Weasel, Matt, Shade, Dre, IG, all of us. We're still trying to clear out the remaining zombies inside the store. There were a few zombies outside the place. Oh, we attracted a few. They were barely protected. All they had between them was a motorcycle helmet, but it was better than nothing. Most of the fighting took place in the aisle. Weasel shot a zombie's head with a handgun. We Matt, Shade bashed a zombie's head with a cricket bat after bashing its left hand and left leg. They get all of them. Okay, so I guess we attracted some zombies. So, we're going to search for the store eventually, but for now... Uh, we will need to clean up the corpses. I guess Dre is gonna do that. And patrol outside and report back. Matt and IGP are gonna do that. And while we're at it, we could barricade the entrance to stay here because it's gonna be late soon. Um, yeah, let's not do a barricade. We might move to another place afterwards. And... Search location for anything useful. Snipe zombies around this location. Nah, we just you just keep searching. C top keeps searching, and we're gonna. I'm gonna help Dre with cleaning out the corpses. I'm not very good at it, but eh, whatever. The faster the better. All right. Dre ate a snack. C top found a bandage, a set, chest set, free cooking ingredients, a flashlight, a golf club, free snacks in the aisles. C top found a snack in the aisles. Notes that there is only one shower at the store. A quarter of the rooms have been searched. Matt and IGP were attacked by, by a zombie. They took care of them. Uh, Matt struck a zombie in its throat with a baseball bat, killing it instantly. Matt and IGP stopped their patrol because of the attack. Weasel and Dre are getting along. Better after cleaning up corpses. Yes, doing ex success, um, doing activities successfully will improve the relationship. And right now I'm happy about that. Nobody's angry at each other. That really helps usually. Um... Okay, so we're still gonna look, I believe. They stopped um, watching for zombies, so we're gonna send Matt and IGP to just watch, not patrol. And yeah, I think, Weasel, you're gonna stop cleaning. What should you do? You could make traps or just help searching the location. Couldn't, wouldn't hurt if you did that with C-Top. By the way, every YouTuber that I'm mentioning here, they all have links below, so you should check out their channels. They're all awesome. And yeah, click the links, subscribe, check them out. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep searching. Okay. Uh, we ate some snacks. We found some snacks in the aisles. We found 56 9mm rounds, a crowbar, a fire axe, a handgun, and a submachine gun in the storeroom. That's pretty pretty damn sexy. Dre removed all corpses from the aisles. All corpses have been removed. Okay, that's kind of cool. Found some good stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to make only one person look for zombies. Uh, watch for zombies. Uh, who was really good at that? Uh, C-Top is actually good at watching zombies, so I'm gonna let him do this. And we're gonna search the location, all four of us together. Um, actually, IGP, you're gonna prepare a meal while we do that. Because you're a chef, so you're really good at this. Uh, Matt ate a snack. We found a shotgun in the st uh, second storeroom. Wow! Crowbar, 70 quarrels in the first storeroom, and IGP prepared two small meals. Dre says almost all rooms have been searched. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you right-click them, you get some information about them. They're all good, rested, fresh. Fantastic. Uh, you cannot give them anything in terms of items, but you can spread rumors, which might improve their relation. Let's say, C-Top. I'm gonna spread the rumor that um, he is mm, activism. This rumor will be spread during the next hour. Until then, you may change it as much as you like. He was a member of the local association for concerned mechanics, musicians, and librarians. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do athletes, mechanics, athletes, and librarians. It's weird, kind of weird, but you're telling a story, and uh, you might actually improve the relationship between people. Um, I'm gonna say a member 
of the National Association for Concerned Mechanics, Athletes, and Librarians. Just to see what happens to demonstrate that. c Top still watches for zombies while he spreads that rumor. And we're going to keep looking for useful things. Weasel, on the other hand... Mm, Weasel, you might... No, you're not patrolling outside. You could watch for zombies, couldn't you? Well, I could also let him just uh, modify, uh, modify an item myself. Uh, let's do some... Well, salt item, I guess. Yeah, why not? Let's let's modify that. I'm gonna take a random item and improve that usually if I'm good at it. And we're gonna see. Rumors spread around the group. Apparently, Sito was something of an activist. He was a member of the National Association of Concerned Mechanics, yada yada yada. Uh, Dre, Weasel, IJP, and Matt were indifferent about it. So we don't care about it, so it's not decreasing the relationship, also not improving. So, whatever. Weasel is modifying a cricket bat. Okay, I'm still working on this. Um, we still haven't fully searched through it, everything, so we're gonna do another hour. Weasel and Matt ate two snacks. It's getting dark outside. We need to be more vigilant. Dre found the backpack in the first storeroom. Weasel's getting started on the cricket bed. IG prepared two small meals. He stopped preparing meals because he ran out of ingredients. Okay, we got some food. That's nice. I think we're gonna stay the night here because it's 6 p.m. Uh, C-Top reported that there are no zombies outside the store. He added that the noise level at the store is low. Hopefully zombies won't be interested. Okay, all rooms have been searched. So what we're gonna do now... Uh, we are going... To, we, we kind of have a time limit, like five days, I think. I'm entirely sure. Was there a time limit? Possibly. We could go to the next store, but for now, I am just going to barricade myself inside. Uh, quickly and qu uh, loudly. Nope, slowly and quietly. Uh, we're going to do that with everyone else who's not busy right now. And Weasel might just keep working on assault capability while we just barricade ourselves in for the night. They broke a desk into eight wood barricades. They secured a door leading to the aisles. Okay, good. Let's do another. All right. Sea top and Weasel ate two snacks. A barricade blocking the aisles was attacked, but it held firm. Weasel has barely made any progress on the modifications to the shotgun. Weasel, get it together. Uh, they broke a lamp into one wood barricade. They secured a door leading to the aisles. Okay. So we should maybe check out what's going on outside. Weasel, watch for... Or Sea top watch for zombies. And I think uh, we might just all, the rest, focus on assault capability. Just make our weapons better during the night now. Matt is modifying a baseball bat. Weasel is modifying a submachine gun. IGP is modifying a handgun. And Dre is modifying a cricket bat. Ooh, Dre and IGP had an argument in the office. IGP broke... IGP threw a broken computer at Dre, but he missed and it smashed to pieces. Wow, that's quite angry. It won't even be useful for scraps. A barricade blocking the aisles was attacked, but it held firm. Weasel raised the ire of others while modifying items. Ugh. Okay, it's not good. Dre and IGP, they're not getting along very well. Some, some, some bad blood, for whatever silly reason. Um, so Dre is a bartender and IGP is a chef. Maybe we can do something there. Only one rumor maybe spread per day. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Um, I guess we're not gonna do let IGP and Dre do the same things for now. Um, I think Dre should report uh, patrol outside and report back because he's really good at that. And IGP is gonna help to watch for zombies while we work on the items. Oh, what happened? IGP ate a snake. Dre was attacked by a zombie. He took care of them. He struck a zombie on its head with a baseball bat, killing it instantly. Dre stopped his patrol because of the attack. Matt Shea has almost finished modifying the baseball bat. Weasel still getting started on the submachine gun. Weasel and Matt Shea became frustrated with each other while modifying items. Ugh, fantastic. Fantastic. Everyone's upset. That's just great. Okay, we're just gonna spend the night. Um... Snipe zombies. Nah, we're just gonna idle around. Uh, if you let your survivors idle, usually things are, they're just gonna do their own thing. Matt Shea and C have been discussing tactics. They both feel smarter. Drain Weasel ate two snacks. Matt tried to play a game of chess, but no one else was interested. He's annoyed at everyone else because nobody wanted to play with him. Aww. A barricade blocking the aisles was attacked, but it held firm, and C washed himself in the shower. He's grateful for the soap. What are the supplies, by the way, right now? A lot of ammunition. A lot of ammunition and food. Six small meals. That's actually not too shabby. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna skip through the night. Dre's an IG... Oh, okay. 
It looks like your survivors are not getting along. Their relationship has become dangerously strained. Relationships affect almost every aspect of the game, including combat. Survivors with bad relationships can fight amongst themselves, potentially causing serious injuries. Um, I could spread rumors to improve their relationship, as I said before. Um, yeah, I don't know what a good rumor would be, but yeah, reading their background helps definitely. Okay, so... Uh, I'm just gonna skip another hour. I think it's a new day, so I could, should be fine. I should be able to improve the relationships. Oh, man. I think Matt is... Oh, well, just angry at Dre. And Dre is just... We not really get along with too many other people except me. Yeah, only me, actually. Okay, maybe we need to spread a rumor for Dre. Uh, charity? Until then, through his work as a bartender, he was known among friends for offering his services free of charge to uneducated poor people. That sounds really good. That's, that sounds good. Whatever you did. Did you teach him how to make some margaritas? Who knows? But yeah, it's, it's dark. We're just gonna spread that rumor. Um, not much else to do. The barricade is holding. All right. Through his work as a bartender, he was known among friends, yes. On hearing the rumor, c Top Weasel and JP became closer to Dre. Matt was indifferent about it. Matt doesn't care for charity. I'm telling you. Weasel and c Top constant bickering is getting everyone down. God. Mm, annoying. We could split up the groups, maybe. IGP ate a snack. That's fine. Okay. So, how do I keep him busy? Weasel and c Top. Hmm. What if we just let C-Top watch for zombies? He's pretty good at it anyway, and the rest can just hang out. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, it's early. 3 a.m. Very good. Uh, eight free snacks. Well, hungry, hungry fellas. I think it's early enough to check out another house. Um... You know what, we're gonna send everyone to patrol outside, or not patrol outside, um... You know what, actually we, we're gonna send everyone, just kill all the zombies that are here. Oh, my mail program is still open. Uh, everyone... Well, maybe not when they're really angry at each other. Mm, Matt could modify an item, and maybe about... Mm, close combat. Yeah, focus on close combat capability, that's good. And Weasel, see to watch for zombies. And I don't want to send necessarily someone out so they fight. <laughs> I can create distractions by making noise. Uh, I guess I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to be idle before I get into anyone's hair. Ugh. Oh, those sounds. Matt is modifying a baseball bat. Weasel and Seatop's contents bickering is getting everyone down. Drain Weasel ate two snacks. Seatop reported that the store is surrounded by a small number of zombies. He added that the noise level at the store is low. Zombies won't be interested. Drain IGP were attacked by a zombie. They took care of them. We're using a baseball bat. They struck down two of them. Okay, it's 4 a.m. I think we can just head to the next house. I kind of want to head to this vehicle park, but I don't know what's going on there, so... You know what? Police station sounds actually like a good idea. All right, I'm going to send C-Top and... Who else am I going to send? I should be sure that I send two guys that get along. Um... Hmm... I, remember, I forgot, nobody gets really along with C-Top, so... What about if I go? What, what if what if you sent me there? Ah, uh, what's my token? There you go. Investigate, and who else? Dre, yeah, let's send Dre, he's also really good at this stuff. And we're gonna take a baseball bat, and... <laughs> yeah, let's just go with the cricket and baseball bat. Let's... And a motorcycle helmet to protect us. Maybe a bandage in case we need it. Ah, uh, no, we, that's a different... Ooh, a sledgehammer. Absolutely. And we're just gonna check it out just in case we meet some zombies. I think we could just... Everyone else could breach the warehouse. Oh, they're gonna come back, right? Oh, well, we might as well stay here. And... Or also breach this. Ah, you know what? We're gonna breach two houses at the same time. No risk, no fun. So... Uh, and this is gonna be maybe the new place. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna breach this place and investigate the other one. Um, okay, we're gonna breach this and we're gonna take a baseball bat, golf club, shotgun, submachine gun, handguns, all the ammunition. 
All the ammunition. How do I do all? Oh yeah, with right click. <sighs> what else? What a hacksaw sounds good. Flashlights to search things. Fire axes. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Guess I'm gonna leave the hacksaw behind. I'm gonna take bandages instead. Oh man, all the small meals. That would be such a shame to leave that stuff behind. Hmm. Wait one, wait one. Flashlight. It's not too heavy. We've got plenty of stuff. Well, I guess, I guess, uh, Dre and me, we can bring that stuff later after we investigate that area. All right, let's breach. Let's see how that goes. The investigation and the breach. Oh, shooting. Lots of shooting. Okay, the warehouse. Matt, GP and C-Top approached the warehouse with the intention of breaking in. It was an easy place to access, so they didn't have any much, uh, much spine. Didn't have to spend too much time finding a way inside. Small second story window leading to the main room uh, proved tricky to access. We cleared the room, taking down one zombie. Uh, there's probably more zombies in here, only a handful. And in the police station, it's a tiny building with around eight rooms. 19 windows leading in from the outside. Should contain a cache of weapons. Weasel and Dre scouted around the perimeter. They counted zero zombies outside. Peering through the windows, they saw 19 zombies inside. Guess what? I'm not going to breach this place. Yep. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, so we're still... Yeah, nothing I can do. Weasel and Dre are currently on their way back. That's going. It's 6 a.m. Ooh. Lots of blood. Reason and Dre approached the store with the intention of breaking in. They had spent some time trying to find a way in increasing the risk. Oh, we're breaking back into our store? Eh, that's fine. Sun's coming up, it will be easier to spot zombies. Mad, IGP, and C-Top were still trying to clear out the remaining zombies inside the warehouse. There were a few zombies outside the place. Most of the fighting took place in the main storeroom. Matt bashed a zombie's torso with a pistol butt, but after striking its right hand and right arm, IGP blasted a zombie skull with its handgun. C-Top shot a zombie head. Zombie's head with submachine gun after shooting its left arm, right leg, head and right arm. Man, you shredded him. All right, we got them all. IGP received a concussion. No good. No good, but we're inside. Got some corpses. Uh, we're gonna send me and Dre over if we can. Oh, no, we're still breaking in. That's a shame. And Weasel doesn't go along with anyone. It's kind of odd. Anyway, we should... The warehouse, we should... Looking at the corpses, it's a good idea. Um, Matt is watching for zombies, and mm, IGP should barricade slowly and quietly. We're gonna search as soon as the other guys are around. Okay, very good. Luis Andre is trying to clear out the remaining zombies inside the store. Um, okay, we killed all the zombies. Very good. Seat up, scavenged two, two, three round. Some. Shotgun shells and quarrels while cleaning up the corpses. IGT, IGP tried unsuccessfully to break furniture down into barricades. Alright, uh, so... Weasel and Dre are coming over. We're not investigating, we're breaking... I guess we're breaching, which is weird. Bringing baseball and cricket bat, helmet... And let's bring the meals. Oh man, they're so heavy! Same with the snacks. But we need them. We need them. Hmm. That's a shame, but... Uh, better to have weapons and food than anything else, for that matter. Uh, we're breaching over. Well, these guys are still cleaning, watching for zombies, and making barricades. At least that's the plan. Alright, Matt, IGP, and C-Top waited for the right moment and let Weasel and Dre in. Matt and Weasel constant bickering is getting everyone down. Sorry, C-Top and Dre, two snacks. IGP still, no luck with the barricade. Oh, well, we might let have him do something else. Weasel quickly grabbed some soap and jumped into the shower. He feels clean and fresh. Dre could not find a shower, so he had to settle for splashing water on himself. He's annoyed at Weasel for taking the shower. Dre is also frustrated that he didn't find any soap to wash with. Well, I guess post-apocalyptic world problems or survivor problems, something along those lines. Uh, we're going to continue in the next episode and see how this goes. Currently, everyone is super angry at everyone. What's, what's with the mood? I mean, everyone hates everyone. And IGP has a concussion. What a shame. Um, I hope he, we can heal him. Can we, can, we, can we help him? There's not much he can do about a concussion, though. You just stay calm. Uh, we're currently in this warehouse that we're, uh, well, kind of raided, I guess. Or broke into. We're going to search for anything useful. And uh, someone should watch out for zombies. That's Dre. And 
Uh, since everyone hates everyone, I might as well send them all to search through the warehouse. Still want to make my way right over here, uh, possibly the vehicle part. I guess what we can do, we can move to past the police station. Maybe right this house or here. We'll see. We'll see about that. Um, there is this uh, menu that I haven't shown you yet. Pretty much, uh, this is... I have no idea. It's like the quest box that just very important documents, like we need to find a vehicle once we can get out. Um, like quests and information that is quite important, we can find it here. It's just... I forgot what it was called, but that's where we find those notes. Um, anyway, we're going to... Oh, well, yeah, keep looking for that. Maybe we can send someone to just look what we're expecting here. How about we send... Do -do 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 -do. Mm. Hard decisions, hard decisions. I guess I'm going to sacrifice myself looking for it. Uh, I'm going to go and investigate the store over here because there might be a possible vehicle part or... Um, yeah, vehicle. Uh, add your own symbols and notes to location by right-clicking them. Nah, not really necessary. Um, I could mark this with a solid circle. Now, dashed circle, cross. Mm. I'm going to go with a cross because this is where we've been, pretty much. So that's a good one. Uh, and yeah, let's remove that. Uh, clear mark and note, just with a cross. That's fine. So we know. Oh, little axis where we kill people, I guess. I have no idea. Anyway, let's uh, do that. Dre is watching for zombies. C-Top and IGP are looking for useful stuff. Wait, why is Matt? Matt shouldn't make traps. We can make uh, Matt still look. Anything useful, weapons and ammo, medical supplies, food and ingredients. <sighs> weapons and ammo, why not? Let's look for weapons and ammo in here. And let's keep going. Hopefully I can find my way there. All right, Matt ate a small meal. We found 17, bu 17 butter knives, a circular saw, free cooking ingredients. 14 frying pans. Man, we can cook so much. Probably like a household store. Found a butter knife, cooking ingredient, carving knives. Nothing interesting, actually. Too interesting. See up notes, there's only one shower in the warehouse and a quarter of the rooms have been searched. So, Dre is still watching for zombies. That's good. We're still looking at just 38%. Um, okay, possible vehicle or part. We're close. I should be there by the hour. Let's see. The store at 18 Rio Lane, or Rio Lane, is a tiny building with around five rooms, has three doors, seven windows leading from the outside. Okay, there's a pickup truck at the store at 18 Rio Lane. With the right parts, we can fix it. Fantastic. Uh, we need to find a radiator, an air filter, brake fluid, tire, and spark plugs. Okay. He found a pickup store at the truck. If we have the right parts, we can repair and leave this place. Good, that is what we need. Good to know. We don't need to go there yet, I guess, since we, well, first need to find one of these items. Probably quite a lot around. Okay, surrounded by a small number of zombies. Uh, no, not too happy about that. Uh, can we look for tools and scrap? Yeah, let's look for tools and scrap while we're at it. Dre is still watching for zombies. Or we could make him patrol outside, since he's quite good at that. I'm coming back. Ooh. We found a cooking ingredient in the second storeroom. Grinder, hacksaw, mm, nothing for the car. A lot of rounds, some frying pans. Okay, I came back, wonderful. And Dre took care of the zombie. He received some bruising though. Mm. Okay, he stopped the attack because, as patrol because of the attack. Okay, now I'm back, that's great. I think it's time to look around. A factory, factory. Uh, what else? I, I guess we could just send out some people to look for possible places. But now that Dre and Weasel are here, we might as well... Dre might patrol outside and I might as well... I guess I can go somewhere else to just investigate. Um, I feel I should have two people at least in one place to actually look for something. Well, you know what, Weasel, you're gonna help Dre outside. You're gonna become best friends by doing that. You better, at least. All right, let's see. We found an angle grinder, a battery, a hammer, radiator. Ooh, a radiator! Fantastic. Okay. Almost all rooms have been searched. That is great. A radiator. That's something we need. What was the other stuff on the list? I kind of forgot. Let's have a look. Radiator, air filter, brake fluid, tire, spark plugs. Fine. At least we got the radiator. That's great. 
Uh, I feel we should make our way there with the radiator. And bring it down. Um, battery and radiator. Yeah, we don't need a battery, I think. Yeah, it didn't say anything about battery, so we don't need to bring that. It's nice that we have it, but it doesn't help. Okay, so... Still looking. I guess we can just let it go for another hour. And see what we can find. Circular saw, screwdriver, eh, no other parts. That's okay. We took care of the zombie. Actually, Dre struck a zombie and we stopped our patrol. Good. Wonderful. Uh, relationships are improving. That's good. I think we are gonna make our way to the possible vehicle location. We haven't really searched for this, so yeah, we're all gonna go there together. This is gonna be our new, um, well, base of operation, if you might want to call it that. Uh, we will bring... Uh, we'll break into it, breach it, and of course bring the radiator, which we do need. Uh, bandages, I will bring two of those. Ooh, hard hats. Absolutely, motorcycle helmet for some protection. Baseball bats, really like those. I should compare. Um, I think we should bring a bolt action rifle. How, what ammo does it news, use? Uh, the 223R. Oh, we got plenty of those. Let's bring like, I don't know, 20 of them. 20 bullets. That should be fine so we can, uh, well, barricade ourselves. I feel like bringing more. Let's fill this up to like 10. Eh, might as well take them all. Uh, the shotgun. Hmm. I think one gun is fine. Kind of feel with like close range combat weapons a little bit more comfortable. Ah, <sighs> okay. 103 cooking ingredients. Wow. Oh, wow. Let's take like eight with us. Sledgehammer. Ooh. Close combat. Absolutely. I prefer... I think I prefer them over... They have three points for close combat. Hmm. One sledgehammer is fine. And a hammer. Good for engineering. Not too much for combating. I will bring a hammer. Just to be on the safe side. Mob flashlight. Yeah, let's bring a flashlight as well for searching. Two of them, maybe. Crowbar, circular sauce. Hmm. Good question. I think I, I like I like what we have so far. Let's take a few more cooking ingredients, and we're full. We're completely full. Uh, yeah, good idea to mark this we with a uh, circle, so we know this is actually an important spot. Not that I will forget this, but yeah, let's all go here breach this together and then we're gonna barricade ourselves where the car is and then I guess spread out from there all right let's head out uh, left behind uh, left Dregas behind on the way to the store because he couldn't keep up oh how mean poor Dre just just left him behind why uh, because of the con contusions mm, maybe maybe he's gonna be there soon all right we approached the store with the intention of breaking in they had some Spend some time trying to find the way in. They headed to the balcony on the first floor, leading to the first storeroom. It took no time at all to get inside the hammer with the hammer. Um, we cleared the room, taking down one zombie. We can hear half a dozen, maybe more, shambling outside the room. Ugh. Small mob is gathering outside the store. Right for the and we let Dre in. Okay, so we got seven. Zo Ooh, that many inside. Guess we're gonna keep breaching and hope this goes right. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, we could not hold against uh, the horrors of the town. Their struggle for survival has come to an end. To a dramatic end. <laughs> Read the final entries. What a shame. All of us died. I did not expect this would go so bad. We were still trying to clear out the remaining zombies inside the store. There were a few zombies outside the place. They were barely protected. All they had between them were two hard hats and a motorcycle helmet, but it was better than nothing. All the fighting took place in the first storeroom. Mad Shea was killed after two zombies crushed and gored him. IGP was killed after two zombies trampled and mutilated him. C Top was killed after three zombies mutilated and crushed him. Before he died, C Top smashed three zombies with a baseball bat. Weasel was killed after four zombies trampled and gored him. And Dre was killed after three zombies trampled and gored him. Well, isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? A lot of negative interactions. There's pretty much all the statistics about this. Um, Matt was the biggest eater. 
And uh, yeah, just some, some interesting uh, stats about this round. I hope you enjoyed this. This was Safe House Diaries. Diaries. It's available on Steam. The link is below. Again, make sure to check out the YouTubers in this video. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.